So I'm gonna be completely honest here. I actually made a video very similar to this, I think back in 2017. The lowest rated art supplies on Amazon that I could find. And I feel like at this point, I've reached that threshold where it's been long enough that I can redo the video. And to give you an idea of just how long 2017 has been, back in 2017, that was when Jake Paul released his It's Every Day, Bro. It's Every Day, Bro. It's every day, bro. And then Alyssa Violet, she clapped back and released, it's every night, sis. Oh my God, that was an eternity ago. I feel like life was so much simpler back then. Since 2017, our multi-billionaire overlord, real life Lex Luthor, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> has added on the feature on the Amazon app where you can not only search one star and above, but you can actually search the lowest rated all the way to the highest rated. And so unlike last time where I only had a few options that were like maybe three stars and above, this time around, I found the worst of the worst with reviews that explain why it was bad. And almost all of these are rated only one star. I don't know why I'm getting so excited over bad art supplies, but it is what it is. I got a pretty interesting selection of art supplies. I have yet to see any of these. So for today's video, let's just jump right into it. All right, this is how we're gonna do this. I'm going to read you the reviews, give you a description, give you the price. If there's any pictures from the review, I'll show them. From there, I'm going to open it up, see what the realty is. I'm then gonna use all the supplies that I bought today to make a drawing at the end. And I'm gonna directly compare it to my normal supplies. So we'll see just how drastic the difference between the two supplies are. All right, let me get, to, let me get off to the side here. So for this very first art supply, the very first thing that I'm obviously gonna need is paper. And while I was looking for paper, I just so happened to stumble across this Saks Sulfite Art Journal. In the description, it says the book can handle all different types of art supplies, including some really tricky art supplies like marker and ink. It only comes with 10 sheets of paper, and those 10 sheets of paper cost a whopping $5.44. Out of four different reviews, the total rating for this is only two out of five stars. Already, I'm getting some red flags out of this. Here's what one of the reviewers had to say. Well, it's only 10 sheets. You could have just stapled 10 pages of printer paper together and made the same thing. Oh, oh man, right off the bat, right off the bat. You can see that it's stained. She got some marks on her. You can see that it's bent in various places. She's all kinds of messed up and we haven't even turned it around yet. This is just the backside. Oh, it definitely looks like it's beat up on the front as well. By the looks of this, this looks like it might be designed for public school. So let's see what a school version of an art journal looks like. Oh, it literally is a journal. Okay. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, so yeah, there's only 10 pages as described exactly. I mean, no tea, no shade, but it's literally printer paper that's stapled together. If you're a student who's never done any kind of art before and you try this for the first time, it's gonna rip and then you're gonna think that you're bad at artwork for the rest of your life, you know? I can see why this is two stars. It's very much overpriced. Ay, ay, ay. The paper itself is like borderline transparent to the point where you can see my hand moving behind it. And this is supposed to be designed for arts and craft. So I got some colored pencils. Let's try it out and see how it works. Don't make me dance to a tune that you're humming. No, my body don't move like that. Don't make me pretend I don't see a shot coming. Uh, you'll be running when I raise the black flag. Okay, so I just finished drawing up a little eyeball. And with this one page alone, I'm very curious to see how much damage it caused to the page directly behind it. I mean, it's not horrible. Not only did it print on completely to the backside, but it also imprinted completely on the next page. Like you can see a perfect outline of the eyeball. And that's with using Prismacolor. These are really soft colored pencils. That is not good, my guy. I can't even imagine using markers with this. Let's see how bad this handled markers. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, good. Oh, never mind. I skipped a page. It's actually a lot worse than I originally thought.
So let me get this journal right. It's basically 10 pages of printer paper stapled together. It came full of scuff marks. It bleeds incredibly easy. And they wanna be selling this to students for almost $5 when you can go to Walmart and get an actual sketchbook for around the same price. So if I was to rate this on Amazon, I'm gonna rate it a one star. It doesn't even stand up on its own. Oh my gosh, no. This next art supply is an actual art supply. And I am so excited specifically for this one because as you're about to see, it is just from the review alone, it is so suspicious. Let me give you a backstory, Target. Everybody knows Target, right? In Target, they sell like a knockoff Target brand called Up and Up. And the Up and Up brand is only sold at Target for Target. And while I was searching for colored pencils, I stumbled across this Up and Up 12 count set on Amazon for almost seven dollars. On the description of this, it nowhere says anything about Target. It nowhere says anything about the actual Up and Up brand. And to make matters even more dramatic, the only review that's available says, don't waste your money. The box looks like it's been chewed up. Two pencils are broken. There's sticky stuff on the front, like someone ripped off a sticker. Plus, and this is the juicy part, there was a Sharpie line through the brand name. Super weird and it has one out of five star total reviews. Looking at the pictures, it literally looks like the seller went out to Target, bought the actual up and up colored pencils from Target, sharpied out the logo, and now sell it on Amazon. All right, so let's see. These don't look that bad, but looking at them, they are definitely 100% from Target. Like they literally covered up the barcode. But unlike the other reviewer, mine's definitely not beat up. And they also didn't cover the original Target logo. So we know for a fact that these 100% are straight up from Target. I don't know if they bought them from the same supplier. I don't know if they bought them from Target and are reselling them, but I just, oh, they're sticky, ew. Oh, oh my God. There's like some sticky crap on it, ew. But I just looked up the price of these on the Target app. In actual Target, they sell these for only $1.49. And again, the seller, who is not Target, by the way, on Amazon is selling these for $7. Oh my God, that is such a ripoff. All right, so we'll just test these out. Make sure they're not damaged or anything. Yeah, see the pencil themselves, it works completely fine. So it's definitely not the art supplies themselves that are bad. It's just that they're selling the product almost at a 400% markup, which that alone is absolutely insane. I would rate this a two out of five. Now for this next one, I am super, super, super stoked for this one. Out of all of them that I ordered, I think this one will be the best one. You know, I have high hopes that it will be. This is a 36 color watercolor palette with three regular brushes, two refillable brushes, and it only costs $4.99 and it has a three out of five star review. And I know that sounds very high compared to all the other stuff that we talked about, but here's what one of the reviews had to say. And let me tell you, this person went in on it. Cheap and defective product, even if it's for a beginner, they deserve better. The brushes look like they're made of foil instead of metal. The bristles are ready to come out without use. Amazon and the seller need to become better people and sell this junk. I'm getting some strong Karen vibes from this uh, review. So hopefully when it comes in, it's not that bad. All right, so let's check out this watercolor. It looks to be in pretty decent condition. It looks like we have the watercolor, we have the two brushes and two portable brushes. If you look closer, you can definitely see there's a lot of scuff marks all over it, but I would say nothing too bad, nothing that's like damaging it. I would say it's more cosmetic than defective. <gasps> the packaging immediately broke off as soon as I opened it. Okay, whatever, again, it's cool as long as the actual product itself works. I mean, it's $5 for all this stuff. That's not bad. I'm, I'm willing to work with it. The brushes themselves, they don't look that bad. They're just incredibly flimsy, like very, very bendable. 
wait a second, hold on. There's all kinds of like gunk dried up on this one specific brush. Like, look at this, that is so weird. Look at this. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's, I probably shouldn't be breathing it in. That is so weird. And it's only on this one specific brush too. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. The actual watercolor itself, it definitely does not look that bad. It kind of reminds me of Tums, kind of. Even more weird, some of the colors are not mixed completely. Like for example, we have this maroon color that also has specks of blue and hot pink. So I have absolutely no idea what's going on there. And it kind of looks like the white is not fully glued in right. It's kind of coming out. So I'm not gonna lie, that's a little weird, but I'm willing to still try it out. So let me go refill these and I will be right back. Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't. They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure raise. Going through a phase, gotta get myself out it. Don't talk about it, boy, they said you gotta be about it. So I be trying to face the world head on. Front seat riding, cruising down the meadows. Pedal to the meadow, cool breeze blowing down the windows. Calm trees blowing trees, get that boy some headroom. On an interstate in traffic, but I swerve I was What's the moves for the night? What's the word now? What's the link to me up? I didn't swatch all of them because there are a lot of colors to swatch, but I think we get the idea. I've worked with tons and tons of dollar store art supplies in the past. Of course, as expected, they're not always that good, but not to sound shady, but they're usually not this bad. For example, there's almost zero pigment in some of the colors. This beautiful brown color right here, it looks almost transparent on the page. And to make it even weirder, some of the colors are leaving behind little tiny dots. They're not breaking down in the water and it's leaving behind like this little, I guess like dust or something. I'm not even too sure what it is. I have no idea what that is. So that's new to me. And before I make a full decision on these watercolors, I really want to see what this mystery burgundy color is. Oh wow, this one's actually really pretty. Now I am getting some like heavy Karen energy from the original review. I do think these are pretty bad, but I don't think they're that bad, especially since it came with all this ex extra stuff and the price being $5 with free shipping. I'm gonna rate this a three out of five stars. And the very last art supply, which it's not really an art supply, it's more like an art supply tool. And this, my good people, is a clear acrylic paint palette oval shaped artist paint mixing palette with them whole for acrylic watercolor and oil paints. From the pictures alone, I see absolutely zero problems with it. And the best part is it's only $1.89 with free Amazon Prime shipping. That sounded like an ad, but I swear it wasn't. <laughs> but when you look into the reviews, that's a different story. This review just straight up says, ha ha, too small for anything. It's a joke, it's overpriced. For the second review, they actually whipped out the measuring tape. They said, description states that it's 17 inches. I received a tiny seven inch palette. And of course they gave it a one star. Oh, it's a fly. All right, I'm just gonna smack him. Oh, ah. Got him. Well, that's lovely. There's a dead fly in here. Like I'm aware that it's going to be small, but I don't know exactly how small it's gonna be, you know? So let's see. Wow, that is tiny. Look at it, compared to my face, it is so small. I also like the little mixing hole. That's really cute. Now, upon first glance, it definitely looks like there is a lot of scratches all over this palette, but I think it's actually a protective film. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. Look at it. It's like perfectly clear too. And even though this little palette is absolutely adorable, it is very, very, very misleading from what you get on the picture. It shows a regular size palette, especially the picture where it shows a brush right next to the palette. It's expectation versus reality. <laughs> and not just that, but it also shows a sketchbook in comparison to the palette. How are you gonna compare the two? I mean, these two things are not to scale whatsoever. You know what I mean? Now, I do have to note that somebody on the Amazon review says that they bought this for makeup, which if that's the case, that makes total sense. I mean, you know, put a little eyeshadow here, put a little foundation there, mix it up or whatever. But the description on Amazon says it's literally for oil paint. So I don't think that's gonna happen. I've only put four colors down and it's already filled up the whole entire palette. 
It can barely hold four colors. I can't even imagine using it for a oil paint, even if it is $1, you know? So I'm gonna have to rate this one. Um, we're gonna end it on a nice note. And I'm gonna say this one is a three out of five. So even though I predict I might have a very hard time using these to make something legible, I'm going to try my best. Oh God, it broke again. It literally broke again. Oh my God. Okay, here's the drawing. Are you ready to see the final result? Bam! And this is the exact same drawing, except with Prismacolors. And by the way, these are both the results of about 20 minute drawings. And I think with all of the supplies, they would work better if I was using them with like better paper and things like that. But because I used just a plethora of very low rated art supplies, it kind of gave me a low rated result. And by the way, to throw in one last little shade, you can actually hear the difference in like the quality of paper. So loud and crunchy. I don't know what I was expecting, but there you go. Before you leave, if you could please do the three holy grails of YouTube, that would be beyond helpful and amazing. And with that being said, I hope you have a good day and I will see you guys next video. Bye.